Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Rainbow Tastic and Samuel. We're playing some more Night in the Woods. Finally. Finally. You know, in between breaks. And I wonder, like, since the last dream was so messed up, are we going to have another dream or are we just going to wake up? Oh my god, we're just going to wake up. Oh. All right, then. No more freaky deaky dreams. We can see what's going on today, at least. I got so many messages. Let's see. Away message. Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see the blank tones next week. Okay. All right, then. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Hello, Tiffany. Pickaxe. At it. Me. You know the drill. Where okay, so it's to... been so long. Where did we go to last? Didn't we go with Greg? Yeah, we went with Greg. I think we have to go to... Um... Fuck, what's his name? Angus? Angus! All right, so we're going to try Angus, and if that doesn't work, we'll try B? Yeah, B. I think we already did B. Hello, mommy. We already did B. Went to the oh, we did? Oh, okay then. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Ugh. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well, I'm going to make a new appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. It is very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. <laughs> Tiffany, hon, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, got stuff to do. What is it that you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Neither do we. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. You're not the boss of me. Love you. Love you, too. That's kind of how conversations with my dad go sometimes. <laughs> go and uh, where's Angus at right now? Uh... Would it be in his apartment, or would he be... Where are you going? I'm going to go see if there's still construction work going on this way. Oh, yeah. Because I, I just remembered that's a th Oh, I guess oh, not. Oh, shit. Farming. farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. Okay. So I'm not going to bother with this just yet, and I'm going to see if I can find Angus. Uh. Huh. All right, then. All right, then. That was, um, okay. I bet that comes into play later. Probably. Walking, walking, walking. I'll come back when I'm with Angus. Bye bye. Oh. Wait, never mind. Oh, God. What do you want? Hello to you, too, Tiffany. Well, I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah. Thought you'd be interested, is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. And medium build. And he was dead when it was removed. Yeah. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. I feel like this is illegal. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? 
Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, Tiffany. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Well, have a nice day. Have a nice evening, Tiffany. I almost said have a nice Tiffany evening. Bel oh, listen do to we want like yeah, do we want more poetry? Hey, Selmers. Jeez, Tiffany, are you sick? Bitch. Nah, just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Wanna hear a new poem? Uh, yeah. The stars, the stars. Like lights on cars. Drive across the dark. And never park. It's true. They are like that. I got one ready for the longest night. Oh? Longest night. Longest night. Night so dark. But stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. Is that a festival or something? Um, I guess. I like his poetry. Look on the board. Yeah. Anything new? Nothing. Nothing. Well, all right then. Okay, go to the two store. That's where Angus is. I, or yeah. works, at least. There's a pickaxe. There's the party barn. There's Tiffany running on a blank screen. There's video outpost too. Angus! So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Yeah! Wow, B let you have the car two nights in a row? Yeah. Even after the flat tire? Well, I mean, you can't really do anything about that. And I replaced the tire. Oh, yeah. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean... Ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast. About ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. No, I'm gonna be sick. Sorry. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm Tiffany, and I saw ghosts. And this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is Tiffany. She's a crazy person. Cool! Progress! Yeah! I feel like we're gonna have a touchy-feely moment with Angus. I hope we do. I think he's one of the few people... Like, I think he's the only one we haven't really had a touchy-feely moment with. Yeah, except for whenever it was a weird, awkward moment with him and Greg. Him and, yeah, him and Greg. Nice evening. Yeah, it's all right. My mom used to take us up here to play a frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once. Full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. 
I'd walk away after that too, I guess. <laughs> Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Hmm. Well, that seems extreme. I don't know. You can't go to the woods to, like, socialize with the woods. I guess. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. (laughs) No, thank you. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. On an adventure with Angus. Do 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 Angus. Angus. This is just like taking me to the store, and I get too far ahead, and Ray's like, "Okay, Rainbow, don't wander off." What did you say? I said, "Don't wander off." Like five minutes later. Ray! (laughs) Ray, I'm lost! Ray! Because I forgot to bring my phone into the store with me, and I kind of just stand in one spot and yell Ray over and over. Puff. Puff? You (gasps) alright? Oh, I got it. Sorry, you alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Oh, I should probably slow down then. Sorry, you gotta wait. For, sorry, you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I save that for emergencies. Being slow is an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime kill, Clint, kill. Yeah, you said it right. A lime kill, Clint, kiln, kiln, kiln. Yeah, kill. Um, it's an outside fireplace. I think. Limes? Kiln? Well, I know what a kiln is, but limes? Limestone. You, like, do something with it in there. And it comes... And it becomes this other thing. What the fuck? Oh. I thought it was an outside fireplace. Limestone's mm. weird because... It's mostly made out of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this was all underwater or something at one point. No way. I mean, rocks don't lie. Like, right where you're standing, they were like ancient, horrible sea monsters. I like Angus. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. I do enjoy history, actually. It's my favorite thing in school. As long as it wasn't about America. Yeah, that's true. Like, you know, I grew up here. I kind of... I, I kind of get the point. <sighs> Phew. Need to take a break? I'm okay. I'm okay. Don't push yourself, bro. No prob. <sighs> so, if this place was underwater, where'd the water go? I don't know. To the ocean, I guess. And, like, the earth is always shifting. So, mountains get all pushed up. Where, where it used to be just flat ground. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go now. Cool, cool. (laughs) Are you sure you're okay? 
Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. No, I love dinosaurs, and I do. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't? Things were so scary and cool back then. We die in like five minutes. Oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us. No problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Most things, at least. Okay. You ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. I feel like Angus is going to pass out when we get to the top. Fuck. I don't want to be out here when it's dark. Well... That was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. <laughs> we passed, what, three gates on the way up here? Jeez. I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now. Just up ahead. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in a in the possum massacre. That, like, that, like, labor strike thing. Where it was all, where it was like the miners versus National Guard. Oh, jeez. Happened back in town like a hundred years ago. Yeah, we got something like that going on right now. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. And some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. No. Oh. Huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's no one up here somewhere. Oh, wait. I guess there's one up here somewhere, too. What do you mean there's one? What do you mean? I'm confused. Well, Anyways. that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scared. Except for a ghost. Except for the freaking ghost. And that animatronic thing we left out in the woods. Yeah. That I was not okay with. The bunny. Um. Oh. Oh, okay. Wow. We're up really high. And really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever that ridge is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Angus needs a break anyway. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff? 
I wish I can never remember them other than I think that one up there, like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at the longest night bonfire and we spotted the constellations together and you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow. Maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations. You tell me about them. Okay, then. All right, find me some constellations. Wait, are these going to be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or drain that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Okay, let's see. What, so I just... Middle on. Oh, I figured it out. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's one. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh... You remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah. My granddad used to tell me... Adina stories. Oh. Okay, yeah. Anyways, this cat was in there. Like shiny things was good at... Like shiny things. Was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh, well, yeah. I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. <laughs> well, then, he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh. Decent. Extremely decent. This is cute. What? Oh, okay. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye. Looking at you. Okay, that's, uh... I know this one from a little prog rock album covers... I think the world ends when it rings. That makes sense. It's going to be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound. Usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means you're not going to get wrung to death by a bell. <laughs> A 
Yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh, that's cute. It's a whale. And it's got like the world on its back. Oh wow, that's sad. Why? Why does that have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Yeah. That's legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something. Well, they didn't know what the earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand it is a whale. <laughs> you could start. That's actually a legend. Like, I remember that in an old movie. The Flying Donkey or Pony or something. I can't remember what it is. It's a pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one's real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family never go to church? Weddings and funerals and the longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah. Don't believe in ghosts. Or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I've ever told you. Or how much Greg has told you. But I don't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um... My dad didn't like me. And my mom didn't either. And like... Um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um... My dad... Used to hit me a lot. And my mom was probably worse. She wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> She'd like shove me into the pantry. And slam the door really hard. And all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god. Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day. At a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers. So I could signal the neighbors. Or unlatch the door. Didn't work. As you might guess. Did you ever tell anyone? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I, like, started feeling guilty, too, for some reason. Like, this was something bad I was doing. Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. 
You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I, uh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad, li- my dad left like 10 years ago. So who who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both the paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, they can make you do bad things to yourself. But anyway, no ghost or God. So, like... I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so like the constellations. I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I believe that the stars exist. And that people put the whale, and people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like we're pattern finders. And we'll find patterns. And we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care. And people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God. But like, God found them. Like, when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in that pantry. But a few years later, (laughs) Greg did. So, like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Oh, God! Oh! Ah! Ah! Huh. How long were you listening to our conversation? Is he wearing a crown? I don't know. What are you wearing? Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. Maybe not. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's, There's someone, someone standing, standing behind yeah, us. Yeah, sorry. I forgot you were reading for Angus. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall. Wearing some kind of weird coat. Like... Utility coat or something. 
and totally see through. Oh shit. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about being it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. There is nowhere to go but down. Oh my god. Oh god. god. Oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you! Okay, well we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma! I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In. In. Out. All right. Please, Angus, for the love of God, be Don't okay. Don't die. Ah! Oh, he's fast. Good, we got to the car. <laughs> oh, hang on, Angus. Hang on, we'll find out what happens to you in the next episode. It's gonna be okay, buddy. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.